up? It's Ronnie. Thank you guys for coming and watching. Uh, if this is your first time here, please definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications and updates on the valuable information that I'll be sharing with you on a daily and weekly basis to help you leverage free platforms like Facebook to start generating income online and or efficiently market your business and uh, doing that designed around the lifestyle you love so for those of you who may be with the power lead system um, what you're looking at right now is my blog investorrunny.com you could go there and connect with me get motivation uh, prospecting tips social media tips education and free resources uh, to help leverage you help you leverage and cut the learning curve in your business but like I was saying for those of you who may be with PLS or looking to get in with PLS um, I just have a little bit of information here for those who may either have been struggling or have not yet came about that uh, barrier when marketing the PLS system which is tools training and traffic three main things that you will need to start and scale your business I am going to give you some information here that may be enlightening and beneficial to your success this is my Facebook if you have not yet done so definitely you can shoot over there and connect with me that link will be in the description below as well if you're on my blog that will be to your right I believe um, so definitely please do that um, and so what we're gonna be talking about is how to market PLS for building residual affiliate income uh, what you first have to do is kind of sort of become a product of the product know what it is that you have which is a system um, that is uh, needed by different people different business owners in order for them to either brand themselves capture leads prospects market to those leads and prospects um, over a series of emails or autoresponder is what helps them do that um, as well as creating customized capture pages sales pages and email series sequences for multiple business this is all in this one platform and so once you become a product of the product you know what service you have what you first need to think about is your targeted customers your audience who are the people that need this who are the people that could benefit from this and utilize this system this platform to capture leads uh, follow up with prospects emails people on their list if they don't even have a list they can start using this system to get a list and to start generating a list and also uh, knowing who to necessarily target who's your audience is uh, beneficial to know as well because you don't want to have something and not know you know you don't want to be marketing to a bunch of people who are have no interest in it so two ways for one you can market this opportunity or this system is you could market it as an income opportunity which is you could help individuals who may be looking to start a side income online from home um, to use this as their product in which they will market to their target audience now or you could use this and market it to people which will be customers so to speak but you'll still generate residual income commissions from those customers which is good as well because customers are people who just use the tools and if they always use the tools they need the tools they are what I would consider quality quality uh, customers or whatever you want to call it because they're using the tools those who use this system and the tools to generate ad additional income those people you have to create duplication in so that they are able to go out and do the same thing 
So those people take more coaching and things of that nature. Um, but your targeted audience, I have a list of here list here of a few people that you could consider looking into. Um, real estate agents, you know, people who may need to create pages for their properties and capture leads or even gain more leads for, you know, their specific field, which is, you know, real estate, selling properties and things of that nature. Affiliate marketers, people who sell other people's products like uh, people that sell like makeup or cologne or in, in, what this will be is like independent distributors, affiliate marketers are people that, you know, I'm a, like you have a product, you're an affiliate, you sell that product to other people for a company. That's what affiliate marketers are. Um, MLM companies, you know, distributors, e-commerce agency owners. This is a good one, too, because people who uh, have like e-commerce stores, um, maybe even those of you who are familiar with like Shopify, people, you guys could use this system, PLS, to create capture pages for, say, maybe a, a popular item you have for whatever reason. You could use that item, create a capture page on that item, and then once they actually, you know, for whatever reason, obviously put in their email address, or you could uh, attach a, a form right there. And so, you know, once they actually put that in, obviously they they want to buy it. So then once they click that get access or get item product or whatever, it takes them directly to your Shopify checkout page. So that is beneficial as well. Um, and then look at different brands, you know, that people uh, promote or sell products from, like maybe health insurance. Some people are ind independent uh, health insurance agents. They could use this system as well to uh, market to their local community or, um, you know, online and things of that nature. Maybe they want to spread their um, business online and outside of their local community. And so they can use the system to do so. People that sell mascara, people that host or set up events or things of that nature, um, they could use this system to create pack, create pages for you know, their service, which is event planning, you know, so they could advertise that through Facebook, but using this system to create their actual page and their advertisement that allows them to brand themselves um, as well, capture leads, you know, follow up with people who may have not became a customer of their service, but down the line, because it does take between the fifth and 12th contact for uh, you to actually gain someone as a customer, but that is definitely beneficial to those as well. So you want to look at who your target audience is, who are the people that you want to reach, and then once you know that, what you do is focus on your message, how to attract. This comes in with like attraction marketing and things of that nature. Now, when we go back to these people, when we go up here, these are the people that say, take an hour or two out of your day and just, you know, message and, and, and add those people to your audience, your Facebook, so that, you know, you they can see what message you have to offer and what value you have to offer because nobody's going to see your, what you have if you don't send traffic to it. But what you want to focus on is your message. Um, if you're utilizing Facebook as your primary method, you know, or whatever, use uh, stories. Stories on or about a benefit of your product. So, uh, you know, that could be a story about, uh, you know, how you being able to use this product or being, being able to do this with the product or create this page has helped you in your business. You know, that is something else. You can use quotes, be creative, use jokes about the line of field or related to the target audience. So it could be a joke about real estate. It could be a, a joke about event planning or dog walking or something like that, whatever is, you know, the whatever is going to catch the attention of your target audience. Use articles and facts to educate people on either your product or on the actual market 
of what their line of field is. Also, life experiences with using the product. So, you know, things that you learn, uh, things that you benefited from, things that you realize, you know, that you didn't know before, you know, which helped you leverage the system even more. So that is definitely um, something I think you guys will find value in marketing the PLS system, whether it's something that you are in and you're struggling with or you're looking into joining to utilize for your business or any business that you may be uh, doing now or in the future. So just to recap how to market the PLS system, focus first on becoming a product of the product. So know what you have. Go in there, take the free trial, or if you're already inside this system, go in there, look through the tabs, see what you have, look at the training area, see, mess with the um, the editor and see, you know, all the things you're able to do. So you know the value that you have to the targeted customers or the target audience that you are trying to reach. Then once you have that, focus on your target audience. Real estate, affiliate marketers, MLM affiliates, distributors, e-com agencies and store owners, people that uh, sell health insurance, mascara, uh, CBD oil, um, that's a big one. Um, all these people can benefit from the system because they're able to create not only multiple sales capture pages, follow up with prospects over a period of time and customize these things, but there's also training for traffic in here as well, which is a key component to scaling and having a steady flow of uh, people and eyeballs. And that goes over, we have endless free leads, with, which goes completely over Facebook, Roadmap the Riches. It's like a ton of training inside there, as you know, if you're with PLS, but if not, that is something you will have to take the step forth to find out about. Then find out, I mean, then focus on the content, your message, how you want to resonate and grab the attention of your targeted audience, focusing on stories, benefits of your product, quotes, jokes about the line of field are related to the targeted audience, articles and facts educating them on the product and or the benefit of the product or, you know, their line of field, life experiences with using the product. And last but not least, I want to add that goes with stories on or about the benefit of the product, quotes and things of that nature. I had a Facebook video or uh, YouTube video that I posted on Facebook about a few days ago that had to do with Facebook clickbait content. I definitely recommend you guys check that out because that is something I still see to this day people doing and they're hurting their awareness when utilizing the Facebook algorithm. And if you go back and notice, you'll see when you put you made this post and it got this much awareness and then you post this but which is like considered clickbait content and you notice you don't get get as much awareness and then you know you just got to realize that what you're using you're shooting yourself in the foot so if you take the steps necessary to still be able to get your message across without being like obvious like click this link or you know trying to do it for uh, comments or likes, just be authentic and and, and and do and educate yourself on your audience. You have to know who your audience is and then create stories, quotes, jokes, and things of that nature to resonate with your target audience. So definitely, I think that was helpful. If you found that to be valuable, I hope you found that to be very valuable. Um, I did as well because it's something that I struggled with in the beginning, um, which is finding, you know, knowing necessarily really who my target audience was and where to find them and what I should say to grab their attention. So um, I hope you found value in this. Again, thank you for watching. If this is your first time, second time, third time here and you still haven't subscribed, please do so. Connect with me on Facebook. All those links will be down below the description. And until next time, much faith to your success, and I thanks.